So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days and we're here on Revan Tuli Coast once again where I've been continuing my search for a diamond mountain hair. Now unfortunately I have still not found a diamond mountain hair despite tracking so many max weight estimate females, finding so many big level twos and even coming within 0.1 of a diamond Diamond level 2, I still haven't had a diamond mountain hair. However, I have found some more interesting trophies along the way once again, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Starting off with this 9 legendary brown bear. Now, it's so funny to me because it took me so long to get a diamond brown bear. I spent hours and hours and hours hunting on Medved trying to get a diamond brown bear, and then finally managed to get one. But since Revon Tuli Coast, I have found quite a few level 9 brown bears, but every time it's just that thrill of seeing a 9 legendary, because they feel so elusive to me, just because I spent so long trying to actually get one in the beginning. So every time I see one of these, I get really excited. And I actually managed to drop this guy with a heart shot, only barely clipped the heart there whilst it was in this sitting animation. Only a small diamond, literally 0.1 above the diamond requirement but that's still really really cool and i'm super happy to have another diamond brown bear for the collection now sticking with the theme of brown bear once again i found something pretty interesting a melanistic female brown bear now you may recall in one of my recent videos i actually found my first melanistic since the new models and this is the second now that i have seen since these guys got their new models and again really interesting to me because since they got the new models i've spent a long time looking to get the rares again like because i think i think it's always cool to see rares when they've had a remodel actually out on the reserve rather than just in a trophy lodge where you've already shot them and then the model gets changed so i really wanted to find a melanistic and an albino as i already had those in the trophy lodge but i wanted to see them sort of out in the environment and wandering around it took me so long to find a melanistic ended up with the melanistic male in the previous video and then i ended up finding a melanistic female that's always seems to be how it goes in call of the wild you'll find something that you've spent a long time looking for and then you'll get a another one pretty quickly after it's always that way i swear but again a really beautiful looking animal the melanistic brown bear looks so nice now i really would like to find an albino the albino i have in my lodge from medved is beautiful now it's got the new model especially it looks really beautiful but like i said i'd like to see one sort of out and walking around because i think they always look best that way so maybe one day i'll get lucky enough but they seem really rare same as the melanistics so fingers crossed maybe i'll find one of those in my continual search for a diamond mountain hair now talking of albinos and we actually do have something albino in front of us once again at this little unchecked spot for whitetail where i've had two melanistic does recently we now have an albino male now this little albino buck he is quite small but still really cool to see an albino since the whitetail got the sort of changes to the way the rares look with rancho del arroyo I really like the albino whitetail. I think they look really cool. There's just something about how they look that I think is really beautiful. They've got sort of greyish blue eyes and the pink that's in there in the fur around the, the eyes. I think is really well done. Now, when I went to pick this buck up, it wouldn't let me claim it. I'm spamming the claim button there. Thankfully, it did actually let me claim it eventually. And we have a beautiful albino silver little white-tailed buck. Still just a gorgeous looking animal. Kind of an interesting rack. This is, again, one of the smaller racks, but it doesn't look too bad. It's not one of the sort of fence racks, which is really nice. Just, again, those very tips look a little bit paper thin to me, which I'm not the keenest of with the whitetail models, but still a really gorgeous animal. And I was really excited when I saw just the, the bright white animals standing out in the middle of the herd. It was always such a cool feeling. 
Now, moving on to a little bit of waterfowl hunting, and once again, I have been searching for more rares for the trophy lodge, and I ended up having quite a cool thing happen. So here we have a level three tufted duck. Now, this is only the second level three tufted duck I'd ever seen. I have only had the one diamond, so I was really excited to actually see this. The tufted duck really are a very beautiful species, and this one is a diamond, 965.66. So it's only barely a diamond but a diamond is a diamond super happy with that 963 is the requirement so like i said quite a small diamond tufted duck but that's definitely going to find somewhere in the trophy lodge the the new duck models and the reworked mallards look so good so they are really brilliant for filling up the smaller plaques but not only did i find one level three tufted duck i ended up finding two now this was really cool because like I said I'd only ever had one diamond tufted duck so seeing not just one level three in this past sort of week but also another level three was really exciting. Managed to again drop it with the 22 but this one ended up dying in such a way with the right lighting that it was really easy to see the beautiful iridescence that these guys have on their neck and head and the detail on these models with this iridescence look how fine that detail is that is so well captured absolutely beautiful i'm so glad they managed to get that detail right and this one is also a diamond at 965.80 so again not a very big diamond when 963 is the diamond requirement but a diamond is a diamond and again super happy to have another one of these to go into the trophy lodge they look so good on the on the small plaques like i said all the small platforms that i'm more than happy to have several of these about the lodge they're so beautiful with the detail that they have that you know like i said i'm just happy to put more of them into the trophy lodge would really love to find a leucistic one at some point leucistic tough to ducks i think look really awesome so that's really one of the things that i'm hunting for but finding the level threes is really cool as well now you will have seen that i picked up the track for an orange black grouse now an orange black grouse is actually a rare for the hens and this is a really interesting rare to find i've only ever had one of these before i really would like to get the other rare for the, the for the black grouse hens which is the gold but i so far i've only had the one orange and now the second orange and they do actually look orange if you look in the feathers there's like little little orange feathers dotted throughout the sort of more brown colored feathers and they are really beautiful looking they are actually noticeably different when you compare them to a normal female black grouse very beautiful looking bird again i've been looking for rare black grouse i'd love to find a gold female and i really would love to find a leucistic and melanistic male they look absolutely incredible so still hunting for those but again really excited to actually pick up the track of yet another gorgeous rare for the trophy lodge now moving towards the end of the video and i ended up finding something that i have only ever seen one of and the last time i saw one of these it was at night on medved and it's getting to see one during the day i couldn't believe what i was seeing that right there is an albino female lynx i knew straight away it was an albino because it's missing the black tip to the tail that you'll see on the common lynx or the rather i should say the greys and the light browns but the albinos are missing that black tip to the tail so as soon as i saw that i knew i wasn't being sort of fooled by any lighting or anything that this is actually an albino so cool to actually get to see one during the day like i said the only one i've ever seen was at night on medved on that crazy night where i ended up getting a melanistic male and an albino male so now i have an albino female to put into a multi mount with the melanistic male which i think is really cool and i am going to redo my trophy lodges i've decided because i've ended up getting some trophies recently that i kind of would like to have all in one main lodge rather than two separate lodges and then have the secondary lodge for some other stuff for some smaller stuff some repeats stuff like that and the lynx multi mount with the melanistic male and the albino female is definitely a mount i want to have in my main lodge now i have the the animals to actually do it because just look at this aren't these guys just absolutely beautiful what a stunning stunning looking animal there we go albino female lynx 
they look so good and in the harvest screen with that high contrast you can really see how beautiful they are they are just so stunning and they they really do actually stand out they do have like subtle markings on them as well which i think is really cool but just such a gorgeous animal got lucky with that shot it was a little bit high but once again the 243 handgun did a perfect job at bringing this one down such a cool animal i still can't believe i got lucky enough to find one of these the rare links are very rare to actually find and like i said i saw it running by and i was like hang on a minute hang on a minute is that actually an albino and i couldn't believe what i was seeing so happy to find that and now moving on to the final animal of this video i got super lucky with this find that is a max weight estimate level four melanistic ball moose i was so stoked now i actually had to go and put a tent down to grab my 300 which unfortunately spooked the herd but after a very short track i managed to actually find this guy again and just lining up here to put a shot into his vitals as i knew that he should be a gold so i wanted to be pretty sure of my shot and sure enough managed to get him in the lungs and you can see there he doesn't go very far before he actually drops that is such a cool animal to actually find melanistic moose again are really up there in terms of rarity i've only ever had two i've had one female actually three i've had two females one was on xbox one on pc and then a small melanistic bull that i got on revon Tuli a few months ago and now i get to get a really big level four which as i said i knew should be a gold as long as everything was all right with it and it hadn't been shot other times or anything and yet yeah, it's a gold melanistic bull moose that is such a cool find i'm so stoked about this and he's got such an interesting rack having those two like really big tines just such a cool looking animal now obviously with the great one moose coming out very soon i was hoping that maybe i could get lucky with some nice size rares for the trophy lodge but melanistics are just so rare i didn't know if i'd end up getting a decent size one so actually ending up finding one in multiplayer i was so stoked and it just makes me even more excited to go and grind for a great one moose i cannot wait to go after moose i think it's going to be such a fun grind because i really like the moose especially now they've got the new models they look so much better than they did that i think grinding them is going to be such a fun experience and yeah like i said i was hoping that maybe i could get some decent size rares well now we actually have a gold melanistic maybe we can improve upon this and get a slightly bigger one but either way this is going to be a permanent trophy lodge edition to get a gold of a really rare animal is such a cool feeling and yeah i I was super stoked when i saw that i was really nervous when i accidentally spooked them by getting the 300 out from my tent but as you know like i said it was not a very long track and then i found them thankfully and you know with multiplayer i was stressing in case someone else would come and find it or i'd get kicked all the things that can go wrong in multiplayer but this was actually the first lake i checked in the server found nothing else good in the server but ended up finding this beautiful creature at the very start which was just so epic and like i said i can't wait to go and grind for great one moose i think it's going to be so cool and if i can get a great one or two for the moose i think that's going to be awesome to actually see because they look so darn good and with these new models like i said they're just so fantastic but that is going to be it for this video guys so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always i really hope you've enjoyed these some trophies that i was very excited to get all of these were really exciting for me and i've been really looking forward to actually sharing this so yeah i really hope you have enjoyed it but like i said that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you